So it's 2.30, so I guess we can get started now. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us via Zoom this afternoon. Um, before we get started, I think I've seen a bunch of people already do it, but um, I'd just like to ask if everyone can keep their microphones on mute. Um, this session is going to be recorded um, for future references and for people who can't be with, here with us right now. Um, and we'd just like to limit all of the extra noise as much as possible. Um, if you do have any questions throughout the chat or um, throughout the session, um, you can submit them via the chat feature and then we can um, answer them later on. Um, so with that in mind, we can actually just get started with a little bit of introduction. Um, my name is Lillane Vergara. I am a junior at the colleges from Southern California. Um, I am currently an economics major with a double minor in media and society and American studies. Um, a little bit of the things I do on campus besides academics. I am, um, I work at the Office of Admissions as an O'Loughlin ambassador. Um, some of you might actually know me from there. I do tours every once in a while in their office. Um, I am part of the Campus Activities Board, which basically what they do is plan a lot of entertainment um, events throughout campus on weekdays, um, weekends, throughout finals week, basically everything under the academic year. Um, I'm also part of um, Greek Life, and so I'm part of the Theta Phi Alpha organization on campus. Um, and a little bit of my previous involvement, I have also been a research assistant with the American Studies Department. Um, and so during this session, I'm actually going to be um, joined with the orientation coordinator. Um, so me, myself, I'm also the orientation coordinator for this fall. Um, and so I'm joined with my fellow um, co-exec, Garrett Downs, and the director of student activities, Kristen Toby. Um, together, we plan on um, having a really great orientation this fall and are super excited to have you guys um, come in August. Um, with that in mind, I'm gonna pass it off to Garrett. Um, Garrett, do you want to introduce yourself? I'd love to. Thank you, Elaine. So first, I just want to welcome you all to this Zoom session. It's so great that all of you can take the time out of your busy schedules to come and just get to know HWS because this is an important part of your life and you are definitely making the right decision. So again, my name is Garrett Downs and I'm a junior here at Hobart and William Smith Colleges. I'm from Attica, New York. So if you're from Western New York, woo woo. Um, <laughs> I actually just transferred to HWS in the fall. So I've only been here for um, six to seven months but it was literally the best decision of my life. Um, I already feel at home and I'm super excited to introduce you guys to our HWS community. Um, I am a biology major and I minor in social health and inequalities. I'm on the pre-health track to become a registered nurse and an NP. Um, things I've been a part of, I am in our all male acapella Hobart Tones group. I work for the Office of Advancement and something else, but it's leaving my head at the current moment. But again, I just want to thank you for tuning in and to hear more about HWS and the student engagement that you will be participating in for this year. So just to get the conversation started, Kristen, can you tell us more about your background and how the students might interact with you once they get to campus? Of course. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kristen Toby, and I'm the Director of Student Activities. I've been at the colleges for 16 years and have the absolute pleasure of working with students through the various ways that they become involved on our campus and over the course of their four years here. Once students are on campus, I have the opportunity to interact with them through my work with over 100 student clubs and club sports. Our office plans campus-wide events like orientation, homecoming and family weekend in the fall semester, along with senior week and commencement activities to name a few. On a daily basis, we work with the Campus Activities Board that Lillane just mentioned that does student programming. We coordinate the road trip series that gets students off campus for sporting events or museums. We work with our student leaders in positions like Hobart Student Government, William Smith Congress, class presidents, and much more. Of all of these experiences though, orientation is my absolute favorite. It's an exciting time of year where we get to work with our orientation team which is over 100 current students that are excited to welcome all of you to campus. Uh, they're looking forward to helping all of the new students get acclimated by settling into your new home, helping you navigate how to get to your classes so you feel ready and prepared to start the first day, and help you make connections with not only first year students, but with upper class students who want to share their experiences with all of you. 
Yeah, so definitely speaking about the orientation team, um, I can speak for Garrett and I. Garrett and I are definitely really excited uh, for orientation to happen. Um, so with helping out this year um, with all of the events, what can we generally expect for students to expect to prepare for orientation this year? Yeah, so during the beginning of the summer, new students will be introduced to the orientation portal. This will be their checklist of items that they'll complete prior to coming to campus. So in this checklist, it includes our online orientation program called Get Started. This program provides new students the opportunity to meet people, places, and resources that HWS has to offer. It's an interactive program with videos and important information that will help you learn more about campus and the resources that are here to support you as you navigate your new home. At the end of August, our orientation team will welcome all of our new students and their families at our four-day in-person orientation program. Some of the highlights from this experience include getting settled into your residence hall, meeting your roommate, selecting two classes uh, for your academic schedule with your faculty advisor, participating in a day of service in the Geneva community, seeing the variety show, which is a student talent show down at the historic Smith Opera House, learning more about this new city that you're gonna be part of on our Love Geneva tour. There's so many things happening at orientation, um, not to uh, exclude, but it also includes a lot of fun activities. So there's bubble ball, food trucks, live music, hot air balloons, and so much more. Yeah, definitely Garrett and I can speak on orientation. I think him and I have um, two different perspectives, um, him with a transfer student and me coming in as a first year. Um, I think one of my favorite things from orientation is when I actually just first arrived on campus. Um, the orientation team actually has a specific group that welcomes everyone um, at the entrance of the colleges on Pulteney Street um, that are basically kind of just yelling at you, kind of getting excited, kind of like honk if you love the herons, honk if you love the statements, statesmen. And so, um, that definitely kind of set the tone for me during during orientation and kind of showing that okay like I'm shouldn't be nervous I should be really excited that I chose HWS so yeah no that's a good point so again guys I am a transfer student so it's a different type of style of an orientation that I went through than from what you will go through but it is still an amazing program I think my favorite experience is that orientation it's like the first or second day um, student activities brought a bunch of different food trucks and vendors and community places. So it's literally just like an hour or two and you just walk around and you can get a ton of free food, free bags and free like toys and prizes and stuff. It's really cool and it, honestly it just brings you to a different sense of community because Hobart brings the community onto campus and you can just engage with the local um, businesses. So it's really cool. And my uh, second favorite experience from orientation was the hot air balloon. I had never been in one and I was so terrified to get in it. Like I was scared, but honestly, when I came back down to the ground, I hugged the grass, but it was so much fun. Like you just, you make good friends and you make really good memories at orientation that will stay with you forever. So uh, going off of orientation. So shortly after I got to campus, I went to the Involvement Expo. So the Involvement Expo is a um, program that student activities again will put on about a week or two after uh, classes have started and it's where every club, student organization, a bunch of tables and other activities will be in, I don't know where it will be held this year, but everybody will be in this like auditorium or huge room and you can see every club that the campus has to offer. And um, it is a great way to meet other students and to see what types of clubs are available on campus. So through um, the Involvement Expo, that's where I got involved with my acapella group, my dance club, um, yeah, those are the clubs I'm involved with. <laughs> but uh, for my question for you, Kristen, would be, will that take place again this year or will there be other ways that students can get connected for cl uh, campus clubs and activities? Yes, so the Involvement Expo takes place the first Friday of classes during the fall and spring semester. So during the fall, there'll be over 100 tables out on the quad with clubs, club sports, academic departments and offices that are eager to share with students what they have to offer. This is a great opportunity for new students to meet upper class students from clubs, ask questions about getting involved, and get on an email list for clubs that might pique your interest. The Student Activities Office also coordinates Welcome Week, which takes place during the first week of classes. Clubs will be hosting events and info sessions, so it's a good time to check them out and find something that you might be interested in getting involved in. Yeah, so the Involvement Expo is actually a huge thing. I loved going there. 
So also another thing to keep in mind is I know it's in a couple of months, but it's not too early to start thinking about it is when you go to the involvement expo, you're exposed to all these clubs and future friends. But if there's something that you don't see at the involvement expo, you actually can work with Kristen and other individuals on campus for administration and create your own club. Uh, an example of this would be a couple months ago, I actually just created a dance marathon on campus, which is a charity event to raise money for neonatal hospitals. So just if you go to orientation and then the involvement expo and you don't see a club that you're interested in, you can always make one. Yeah, and so there are always a lot of ways to get involved on campus, but outside of clubs and organizations, what are other activities um, and events that bring students together? Yes, yeah, so the, the events calendar on campus is definitely full at any given time. So our office sends out an email called The Buzz twice a week just to make students, faculty, and staff aware of events and activities being offered. Some ongoing highlights that definitely bring students together, together on our campus is the Campus Activities Board. So like Lillane mentioned, she's been part of that organization for several years now. They do open mics, trivia, bingo, silent discos, you name it. Uh, you'll probably find it at some point on our campus. Friday Flick Series. So this is a series that takes place on Friday nights where students are able to go to the local movie theater, get a free ticket to whatever movie they select, a free drink, and popcorn. So that's really popular among the student body, just to get off campus and do something different with your friends. The After Dark Series is a series of events that take place on Friday and Saturday nights as well, typically in the res hall areas. But one of the highlights, the fall semester is our Haunted Houghton event. So much fun. So we take over the arts campus and we have a haunted hayride, a zombie maze, food trucks, live music, psychics, the whole shebang. So definitely Haunted Houghton is something that campus really looks forward to in the fall semester. Not to mention student events are happening all the time. So they might include anything from yoga sessions to escape gaming nights, cultural club dinners, fundraisers, speakers, club sport competitions, just to name a few. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think one of my favorite events on campus um, has to be Quadapalooza. Um, basically, that is a variety show that happens on the quad every year during homecoming family weekend. Um, it happens during um, when you're having dinner on the quad with your family and um, the Campus Activities Board actually brings all these student performers. So this includes the Hobart Tones, Three Miles Lost, um, Perfect Third, all of the acapella groups. Um, and other individual student performers who do like spoken word, um, who have their own band. Um, and then you get to see all of the different things that people are involved with on campus. So. Yeah, no, so there are a ton of activities that happen on campus. Like there's something always to do. But I think my favorite event that happens on campus every year is the Koshari Dance Collective. It is a huge, huge event on campus. And there is a opera house that is like less than a mile from campus. And we actually provide transportation and busing to the event. So you can easily get there and it is like maybe two hours long and it's where you can see your student peers uh, create their own dances and perform them. Um, the energy that is in that opera house the night of Koshari is off the roof. It is amazing. I literally probably remember every dance at the end of every dance you will hear people standing up screaming and just having a good time like to watch your friends go up there perform like nothing is wrong with life and just having a blast is amazing. It is one thing that I highly recommend every single one of you do when you come in the fall is go to Koshari. I, oh, it's so good. I love it so much. So I think this is our last question before we open it up to you guys to start asking questions is, Kristen, what advice would you offer our audience of soon to be first year students? And this advice would, how would it be to make the most out of their college experience here at Hobart and William Smith? Great question. Well, my advice to new students joining our campus is to keep an open mind and take advantage of all the opportunities that come your way. Going off to college can be a scary process because there's a lot of unknowns. Who will your roommate be? What will classes be like? How will you make new friends? Know that every single student joining us is going through the same feelings. This experience is new to everyone. Upper class students are going to be eager and excited to welcome you to your new home and share tips and tricks on how they navigated the same experience a short time ago. So there's lots of ways to meet new people. So get involved. Sign up for a club to find people with similar interests. Attend events and spend time in the common space in your res hall. Put yourself out there and you'll certainly set yourself up for success. 
Yeah, definitely. I think adding on to that, um, one, my one tip would be don't be afraid to go by yourself. Like if you are interested in going into a, a different organization or club um, and no one wants to go with you, just go by yourself. You'll find people who are really um, have the same interests as you and maybe even get out of your comfort zone. So. Very well, exactly. I agree with that. So one thing that I'm going to tell you guys is going off of Chris and she said, everybody feels the same. So when you get to orientation, there's going to be so many people that you have never met and you don't know, but do not let that scare you. Those people could be your best friend and could be the best man or the bridesmaid at your wedding. Like you could have a family at HWS within the first week of being there. If you just walk up to a random stranger and you're like, hi, my name is so-and-so. So don't be afraid to step out of your bubble in your comfort zone because the minute you step out of that bubble and comfort zone, you will realize that college is not scary. It is so much fun. You just have to take uh, one step forward and one giant leap for Hobart kind or something. I don't know, but <laughs> it, it is such a good time. You just don't be afraid to step out of that box that you've kept yourself in because the minute you do, college will open up and you will experience so many wonderful things. I promise you that. Good advice, Garrett. So it looks like some audience questions have come in while we were chatting. And the first one, is Greek life a big part of campus life? I can actually take this question. So um, being part of a Greek organization, um, there are I think about six Greek organizations with five fraternities and one sorority. Um, the statistic is about 20% of students are actually part of a Greek organization. So not a big chunk of the HWS population. So if you are interested in it, um, you can definitely find an organization that um, matches your interests, matches the things that you wanna do, but it's not really a big part of your HWS identity. Like if you're interested in it, you can definitely join in it, but if you're not, um, you can find a bunch of other things on campus to be a part of. Great, thanks, Lulene. What do students do on the weekends if they don't drink or like to party? So that is a really good question. And I just want to say it is not a big thing on campus. I know a lot of people do not drink and do not party, but going off of what we talked about beforehand with the buzz and our events calendar, there's always something to do. Kristen and her um, partner, Chad, they work day and night to make sure there's always something available on campus. So Friday night, let me tell you, when you were done with that paper, done with that long exam that you crammed all week for, there is something called Friday Flicks. Go to that movie, get that free popcorn and that free soda and live your life. Take a breather. One, another piece of advice I could give you with activities is go to them. Don't always stress about your homework and that exam because you need that hour or two just to breathe and have fun. You are a human foremost. Have fun, breathe, get the stress off you. Have, be a human, laugh. That is just laugh everything away and just have fun. There's always something to do on campus. There's bingos, the Friday flicks. Um, there's, just, there's just so much to do. And there's, in every res hall, there should be an uh, activities calendar. Just take a picture of it, have it as your lock screen or something. So you'll always just know what's happening around campus. So don't be afraid if you have like older classmen going out to a party or drinking, you don't have to do it to be cool. So many students do not do that. So it is, completely fine if you don't. Okay, looks like we have another question. I played sports year round in high school, but I'm not interested in playing at the varsity level. Are there other options for me to stay active while on campus? Well, yes, there certainly are. There's lots of options to stay active and involved in sports. So through our club sports program from the student activities office, we have a wide variety of club sports. And our club sports teams actually play against other colleges and university teams. So even if you're not um, looking to compete at a varsity level, it's still competitive and a lot of fun. Our rec center also has an intramural program. So through the intramural sports, there's lots of different sporting teams that are competing against each other. So it's current students versus other students on campus. They also have uh, tons of opportunities that they advertise like fitness classes, CrossFit, spin class, yoga, and a ton of other things. Uh, there's always activity up there at the rec center going on. 
I'm just gonna go off of the rec center. And I just remembered the other job that I have is actually at the field house. So going off of what Kristen said about the cycling classes, there is another schedule that our fitness directors offer and it is for group fitness classes. Now that might be a little intimidating going to a fitness class and not knowing anybody, but when you go there, everybody who goes there really don't know what, they don't know what they're doing. So the first yoga class I went to, I like made a fool of myself all the time. Like I don't know how to do yoga, but it was so much fun. The instructors play music, they get you into it. And it's like a half an hour, it's like an hour of just a good time. And I highly recommend the cycling classes. They're like definitely worth every second of the blood and sweat and amazingness. So highly recommend. So this will be our last question for today's session. So Lelaine and Garrett, how do you stay in touch with new students over the summer before the in-person orientation? So I guess I can go first. So for you guys to stay in touch with me, I'm, I can drop my email below in the chat section and you are more than welcome to email me. Um, I am currently still doing school and planning orientation with my co-execs and Kristen. So I will be a little busy. So please don't be offended if I don't respond for a day or two. Um, another thing is you are more than welcome to just type my name in into Instagram or Facebook and find me and add me there. I am more than welcome to talk to you guys and just get you on to the Hobart and William Smith train because let me tell you, these four years are gonna be a ride and they're gonna be worth it. So I wanna make sure you know everything that you need to know before you get there. So um, just don't be afraid to add me on any form, platform of social media or email me. Again, I will drop it in the chat. So um, exactly, that's, that's how we're gonna do it. So just feel free to get in contact with me if you want to. Yeah, definitely the same way. Um, I'll drop my email as well. Garrett and I are actually going to be part of the HWS class of 2024 um, Facebook page. So you guys can reach out to us on there. Um, Garrett and I have a bunch of plans to do like vlog style things that happen throughout campus um, when we're um, back at HWS in June. So um, if you guys have any ideas or things that you guys want to see, feel free to reach out to us and we'll definitely try to um, get that for you guys. Awesome. Well, that's all the time we have today. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. We'll be here, you'll be hearing from all of us uh, quite a bit over the summer while we keep in touch and get excited for your arrival to campus uh, at the end of August. So we look forward to that. Please reach out to us if you have any questions before then. Best of luck to you as you make your final decisions and we hope your decision includes HWS. Thank you so much guys, have a good one.